pick up um, the room key. And after I pick up the room key, okay? Yeah, so right now we're heading to um, pick up the key. After I pick up the key, I need to put gas. After I put gas, I need to go pick up something, then pick up a bottle of wine. And then after I'm done with that, then let's not be done. But for right now, I'm just chilling. I'm not doing anything too crazy. So I'll get back to you guys. vacation like I needed it um, so far it's about to be morning time this is my view right now um, amazing and beautiful I didn't even work on anything to be honest guys I literally stayed asleep <laughs> I like had me a bottle of wine and turned on the TV which now it's turned off and slept in this bed and went to bed. I didn't feel like getting up. I didn't feel like doing anything. I just felt like chillaxing. I even brought clothes for me to wear and I didn't even wear it. Like, first of all, let me tell y'all, it was not fun walking to this place. Like, I walked here and baby all looked like t-shirts. I had to walk back over there to go grab like a bottle of wine and everything. The parking lot that I went to, oh my God, crazy. But originally I was gonna wear this, drenched in sweat. This is my Noir Culture shirt that we're coming out with very soon. We also have it in the color orange. I was gonna literally take like cute photos and stuff like that, but they have it in orange. <clears throat> really like photos. Walking out. Something I know I don't have to sweat in. And then this is the brown one. I think you guys have been seeing the brown one before, and this is what the back one looks like. I was gonna take pictures of these, y'all, but by the time I got to the hotel, I was so drained walking from my car here. It was crazy. I was just like, baby, no, this is not gonna work. But I enjoyed myself. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. Like I had a pretty decent time. Um, everything looks good. I, I slept in my noir little sweatshirt. <laughs> had me some wine and I had bought like some ginger ale, which is done now. I bought me like a pack of ginger ale, probably got like two left. So I'm just like cleaning up, throwing things out. That I don't need.
state. I'm gonna use uh, personal care raw shea butter soap on my face. That's what I love to use. Well, that's what I'm gonna try to use. But my staycation was everything. I didn't do anything, I didn't think about anything. I just was like, okay. So this is the bar of soap. This is the packaging. We're gonna use it. It smells really good. Unfortunately, I could not wear any of my noir stuff. I left a lot of stuff at home. So I was unfortunate. I'm just making sure I didn't leave anything in here, y'all. Because I don't have the time to be going through all that. I think that's extra sheets. This hotel, the Element in Brickwood, phenomenal. But look at the view y'all like i didn't only thing it was missing was a balcony but y'all know how i am with my balconies but loved it the stay was amazing i'm just checking at my last minute area so i know i didn't leave anything so i'm one of those people Right. So we're good to go. I'm just waiting on my Uber outfit of the day. Thank you. But this is my Boohoo Man little set. I have multiple sets, but I gave them away. Stupid me. It is out here. But time. Nothing to have to sit on. So, like, I'm not gonna lie, it's been a minute for me to actually stay and say I had a staycation and enjoy my stuff. Dinner on today, I'm gonna go ahead and go to the beach. And so, I got this on. Um, yeah, like, I had me an amazing time. I slept like a freaking baby. I got enough time to kind of let my mind wander and focus on more and things that I have to do. Even though I was on a little staycation, I still was thinking about that. So, um, 
for I wasn't expecting for me to actually have fun, but I actually had fun being here that night and just enjoying myself and relaxing. I don't relax enough. <laughs> Alright y'all, we are in Michael's. I'm looking for some stuff for packaging, but I'm in the art section. Like I don't know what I'm doing. Oh, I actually do need to get me some hats though. I'm not gonna lie. And they actually have some. These ones up here, white, gray, black, main colors. I could get Riley something main. Some Hank hacky sacks. Just get some ideas on. All right, guys, so we have majority of our stuff in our noir stuff in this section. This is like my noir section where, you know, I have my little poster board and stuff like that. Um, I've already packaged uh, the first set of noir culture shirts, which is the noir logo in the front and the big noir culture in the back. I have two more shirts um, that are like this, but these ones, they came blank. I'll give you guys a full story on that later note, but I'm getting these two shirts screen printed and then I'm getting another set like this that came back blank, uh, embroidered um, this weekend, well, next weekend. Um, and then from there on the 31st, we have our photo shoot with our models. But once the shorts get here, then we'll do the full expose. Y'all, so this is everything from the first order that was made with the noir and the culture logo on the back. These shirts are currently blank right now because this is not what they was supposed to originally be ordered. But the, luckily the tags are already embroidered on there. I'm going to have uh, the neckline, uh, under the neckline knit stitched with Noir Culture. Um, and then of course we have our, you know, quadruple logoed Noir shirt that has been a favorite for everybody. We finally got them. Um, uh, down here we have all of the old products that we had from um, back when I first launched. So we're gonna get rid of those. We're not gonna keep those. Things that are right here are mostly clothes that came from the first launch. So we're not keeping those. Um, then we have our hats and stuff right there. And up there is where my influencers packages and everything will be it'll be in those black boxes right there and a nice matte black um kind of bag she did this which is fine i already paid for like three thousand of these um but she missed this whole neckline situation so now i have to try to see if i can find a vendor in the u.s that'll be able to go ahead and correct this issue for me and I've reached out to a few, so I'm just kind of waiting now to see who will reach back out to me and kind of let me know what my next step will be. Um, but so far, I'm very happy with the other sets of shirts. Those look amazing. So we're, like I said, I'm kind of working with her to try to see how I can kind of get recompensated or, you know, whatever for the situation that kind of went at wrong with her miscommunication of everything. Um, but yeah.